Hi, my name is Suzanne and I work for the Marx Group and I'm here with a short five to ten minute video to demonstrate a couple of our uh, Zoho CRM tips and tricks that are published in our newsletter every month. So these are two tips that went out in the beginning of the month in the newsletter and I just want to take a couple minutes to demonstrate them for you here. Uh, sometimes people learn better by seeing rather than reading so um, we like to uh, give you all the information we can and all the medium so that we can. Um, so I have, like I said, I have two tips. One, both are kind of admin oriented. The first one has to do with um, the order of rule, workflow rules, so it's the order in which workflow rules will get executed, and uh, you can actually change that order, so I want to show you how to do that. And the second one is, um, has to do with customizing fields, and you know there's a bunch of different type of fields. One of the fields is a pick list, and you can actually set a default uh, for your pick list. And basically what that means is anytime a record is created, if that particular field is um, not provided in that record, it will default to a value. So it's really useful to use if you have a situation where you're creating a lot of records and for a particular fields or set of fields, there are very common values that uh, are almost always set to a certain value. And it just makes it easier for record entry. Um, okay, so let's pop into the system. I'm going to switch you over. And here we are in our system. We're in, uh, in the home page. So both of these tips, like I said, are admin oriented and they are going to be, um, we're going to start going in, by going into the setup area. So I'm going to click on setup. And the first one, like I said, had to do with workflow. And that's in this area, that's in this automation area. You see right here is the workflow menu. So I'm going to click on workflow. And that's going to bring up my list of rules. And specifically, this particular tip is how you can reorder your rules. So you can see, you know, you have a bunch of rules and uh, they involve different modules. And uh, right now, the list of rules is for all modules. So in order to be able to reorder them, and this gray bar will come into play, I have to select a specific module. So I have a couple. Um, workflow rules that deal with leads. So I'm going to select leads and notice that now this reorder button becomes available. So I can click on that reorder rules and now my two rules are placed in a drag bar and I can make that one uh, go last or I can change that one. So you can just click and drag and of course you know it's not as awesome <laughs> when there's only two rules but if you have a lot of rules a lot of times it does, the order of execution is very important. Um, some of the rules might depend on things happening in the previous rules. So um, this is a handy little trick uh, in case you didn't create them in the order that you wanted to be executed. Once you've got all your rules created, you can come back in here, choose your module, click that reorder, and then just click save. Uh, and again, you can do this for any module. So I click potentials, I've got two in there, I can click reorder rules, and again I get my drag bar and I can move them around and save them. Okay, short and sweet, um, but very handy to know, and like I said, it can be very important because the order of execution um, you know, can be very important depending on the action that's triggered by the various rules. Okay, so that's my first tip of how to reorder your workflow rules. The second tip, again, is administrator oriented and it has to do with setting a default value for a certain type of field. So um, let's go back to setup. I'm going to go back to this view. All of that type of work, create customizing uh, fields, modules, layouts, all that kind of um, administrative work is in this customization area. So specifically we're going to go into fields. And for this demonstration, I'm just going to uh, pull up accounts. And we're going to look at uh, this account type field. So again, in, in this view, you have you can see all the fields in a module. You can see what type of action you can take against the fields. You can see what the names are, what the data type is, and whether or not it's a custom field. So in this particular example, like I said, it, this, this, this particular tip is specific to this type of field, which is called Picklist in Zoho, which is basically a drop-down 
um, field of, or of, I'm sorry, drop down list of values that you can choose for that field. So I'm going to go ahead and click edit, and that's going to open that field up for editing. And I have all these different fields available in my um, account type field. And the default value, setting the default value, is as simple as checking this little box down here. And all that says is that any time a new record is created, if there is no value provided for this particular field, it's going to default to the first item in your list. So, um, of course, you always have to make sure that the most common value uh, you want to put first in the list. Uh, but it's as simple as that. You check the check the um, checkbox, and then that will always default that. So it's, it's, it's really convenient to use, like I said, if you have a particular field that tends to be a, a, um, a common value for most of your records. It just makes data entry easier. You don't have to keep choosing that value. It'll just default to that value as soon as you create the record. But you do need to be careful um, because when you're creating the records, you just do need to make sure that when you're allowing that default to occur that it's valid and applicable. So um, you just want to make sure that if it's defaulting to a particular value that it's right for that record. Okay. And then uh, and just pick Save. So it's as easy as that. You click Edit. Let's go through it one more time. So I just edit. I, um, I think I'm in a different <laughs> one now. Um, I edit. I click the box or uncheck it to change it and click Save. So easy as that. So those are my two CRM administrative oriented tips for you this month. Join us next month when we'll have three new tips to share with you for using CRM, uh, Zoho CRM. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you next month.